Hi, this is Joshua Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams. My goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to your own home selling, home buying, or home investing goals. So today's topic is the first quarter housing stats for the Wasatch Front. Again, thank you for watching our video blog. Before we get started, I just wanted to point out two features on our site. Uh, first is a really great tool that you can use to get a free home evaluation instantly on your own home. And then second is our buyer site which will uh, link you to real-time listings of all homes from all brokerages that uncover the entire Wasatch Front. So now back to our topic first quarter housing update for the Wasatch Front 2018. So the first quarter sales are actually up in 2018, nearly 6% from 2017. Already 6,500 homes have been sold in the first quarter this year compared to just over 6,100 from 2017. We've seen an 11.5% increase in the average sale price year over year. Um, along the Wasatch Front right now, we're actually nearing the $400,000 mark. So with interest rates beginning to rise a bit, I think yeah, as of right now, we might be close to 5% um, and an exceptionally low inventory of starter homes. Uh, first time home buyers are being squeezed pretty tight right now. Um, with that, we are also seeing the average time on market for all housing types along the, uh, the Wasatch Front decrease. So first quarter of last year, the Wasatch Front was about 53 days on market average uh, to sold, right? Now we are around 48 days on the market average uh, to sold. So that's about 10% less time to sell a home at the start of this year. So currently we have a tale of two markets and what that means uh, for all price ranges, we have an inventory level of 3.7 months supply. That means at the rate buyers are currently buying, it would take 3.71 months for the buyers to buy all of the housing types, given the fact that no other homes would come on the market. So it's considered a level market, a normal market, when we're closer to a six month supply. So currently we are indeed in a seller's market and that may be no surprise to you. So I wanna break this out to the tale of two markets. If we look at homes priced under 350,000, our entry level prices, if you will, uh, we have well under a three month supply of those properties. But when we look at homes priced above, say, 500,000 for our move up buyers and sellers, we have close to a seven month supply of homes on the market, which lands kind of in that level market supply. So the higher you go in price, the more it becomes, let's say, a buyer's market, right? Well, the housing market is more of a trickle up market, meaning the first time buyers cause the rest of the market the ability to move on as well. So when a first time home buyer buys, well then that seller's able to move up into the next price range of homes. When that seller sells, uh, then they're also moving up, right? So we can see how the lack of supply in affordable housing arena actually impacts the market in the higher price range. So as in we have more supply of those higher priced homes. For new construction homes uh, along the Wasatch Front, uh, the average price is up just over 8% the first quarter of this year, 2018 over 2017. Given the fact that cities like Salt Lake, Provo, Lehigh, and Ogden have all made top 10 lists uh, for places to live, work, invest in homes and the like, it is expected that prices will continue to increase through the remainder of 2018. I expect that we'll continue to see very tight inventory in the entry level price range with lots of competition. It's great timing for those who are selling and there are strategies you must use to ensure you get the most from your agent. And for the buyers, you need a full-time buyer's agent with experience in navigating these waters. Do not go at it alone. If you have any questions about your own home um, or about the idea of purchasing a property in a market like this, please feel free to email or give us a call.